Operation of the Rainman Control Panel. Features of the control panel include the on off auto flush switch, pre filter pressure gauge, indicates when the pre filter should be changed, high pressure gauge and valve used to control the pressure in the membranes, product water flow meter is an indicator of the product water production, water quality indicator shows when the water being desalinated is portable. Divert to tank three-way valve, used to switch the product water from waste to tank. Auto flush timer and LED indicator, flushes the system after use and every seven days. To operate, turn on the Rainman water maker by switching from auto flush to the on position. Check the pre-filter gauge to ensure that the intake pressure is in the green section. Slowly close the pressure valve by rotating clockwise to increase the pressure to 800 psi or 55 bar. A slight adjustment of the pressure valve may be required to maintain the required pressure. Check the product water flow meter. The output should not exceed the maximum output of your water maker. Take note of the water quality LED. On startup, this will be red. When the water quality reaches an acceptable level, the LED will change to green. You can then switch from divert to tank. At this stage, your vessel's fresh water tank will fill with portable water. When your fresh water tank is full, return the diverter valve to the divert position. Slowly open the pressure valve by rotating anti-clockwise and return the pressure to zero. Finally, shut down the water maker by switching from on to auto flush. Once in the auto flush position, there will be a short delay and then the water maker will be flushed with fresh water. The auto flush timer will then reset itself to flush again in 7 days.